This river captures the hearts of all whose eyes fall upon it. It was the same with a man who was born and raised here 250 years ago. He was Cheng Yagyong, the Joseon era utilitarian scholar, poet, and scientist. Tasan Cheng Yagyong had a profound love for his hometown and its river. He played in Mount Sujong, rising from behind his hometown. And he adored the breathtaking sight of Lake Paldang as seen from Sujong Temple. Today we travel in search of the traces of Tasan and his life 250 years ago. Tazan longed for the river in his hometown even during his 18 years in exile. We met Lim byung near that river. Having been taken with Cheng Yang-yong and his life, Lim has dedicated a lifetime studying the illustrious scholar. In order to gain a deeper understanding of Cheng Yang-yong and the river he loved, Lim quit his painting career and moved here to Namyangju. So what about Tazan caused Lim to change his life so drastically? Lim visits Nungne Station in order to retrace his memories from 45 years ago. Tazan has left and the waterway has disappeared from Nungne. In their stead, a railway was built here. But even that railway is but an old memory now. The train station has been turned into a place which contains the history of the village. Over the years, the river has become a lake and the waterway has become a railway. And the child in the picture has grown up to become the village's mayor. Before he moved here to Namyangju, Lim would take the train to visit the Tazan Heritage Site. He would stay here for days before he'd purchase a train ticket back to Seoul. The station was on the way to a park and always bustling with people. But Lim didn't mind at all. 
Now those times are only remembered through a few pictures. Today we will search through those memories for the traces of Tasan. The first destination on our journey in search of Tazan is the Tazan Heritage Site. A sign greets visitors, telling them that this was the place where Joseon's utilitarianism was created and perfected. Jung Yagyong, who was active during the reign of Joseon's King Jungjo, was the greatest utilitarian scholar of Korea. He was also one of the most prolific writers of the time. He combined knowledge from agriculture, medicine, industry, and science to complete the utilitarianism of the Joseon era. After spending countless years in exile, Cheng Yagyong returned to his hometown in 1818, in the fall of his 57th year. He named his home Yoyudang, with the resolve that he would lead a life of reflection and self-control. As the only male of his household, he held fast to this philosophy. <laughs> Behind Yoyudang is the grave of Cheng Yagyong and his wife, Madam Hong. Tazhan took his final breath with friends and loved ones gathered together for his 60th wedding anniversary. 보통 사람들은 그 후손들이 이렇게 몇 자리를 정하고 하는 건데 이분은 당신 직접 돌아가실 걸 예측을 하셨던지는 모르겠어요. 직접 올라오셔서 이 자리에 나를 묻어달라 그두 형제를 정하견이 하고 하규를 불러가지고 여기다 묻어달라 한강이 내려다 보이는데. 묻어달라 해가지고 자기가 직접 묘자리를 잡아놓으시고 자찬 묘지명이라는 게왜 유명한 거 아니에요? 보통은 그것도 전부 후학들이나 자식들이 묘 묘문을 이렇게 짓는 법인데 이 양반은 자기가 스스로 졌어요. Yeosu is the old name for the Han River. Cheng Yagyong loved the river of his hometown so much that he instructed his tombstone to be inscribed, Here lies Cheng Yagyong of Yeosu. 
and he wanted to be able to see this river uh, even in death. Now Tazan's beloved river has become a lake. And the locals planted a field of lotuses in order to generate income. After the area was designated a drinking water source protection zone. Rice steamed in organically grown lotus leaves is a popular snack among visitors to the Tazan Heritage Site. Mm. The path that Tazan often walked while looking up at the sky 250 years ago has become known as the Tazan Trail and is popular among tourists. We've decided to take a stroll on that trail. One day, 250 years ago, Tazan must have walked on this snowy trail much in the same way. Our final destination in search of Tazan is Sujong Temple, located in Mount Ungil. When Tazan passed the civil service exam at the age of 25, a festival was held at this temple in order to celebrate the joyous occasion. Tazan also often played in the temple grounds as a child. He loved this place so much that he was saddened when he could no longer walk up to the temple due to old age. It's easy to see why Tazan loves Sujong Temple so much. The view of Lake Paldang from the temple is known as one of the most breathtaking sights near the Han River. And it must have been the same 250 years ago. Hanyang에 출사하기 전에 여기서 바로 한 2, 3km 되는 고지점에서 집에서 출발해서 지게에다 가득 경전, 책 이런 걸 지고 와 가지고 여기 고개가 상당히 가파른데 여기까지 올라와서 공부를 여기서 하셨습니다. 그게 결국은 그런 큰 대문호가 탄생하는 바로 지점이 수종산인데 이분이 여기 늘 올라와서 여기서 좋은 물을 가지고 차 마셔가면서 공부를 해가지고 결국은 큰, 그큰 대학자가 되신 겁니다. It is said that when Cheng Yagyong's friends, Kim Jung Hee and monk Choi Sunsa, came to visit, they drank tea at Sujong Temple. One can still drink this tea at the tea house called Sam Jung Hon in front of the main sanctuary. Sam Jung Hon means that poetry, meditation, and tea become one in this place. It is equipped with green tea and tea equipment, so anyone can come here for a cup of hot tea. 
물 맛이 좋았다고 참물 맛이 그리 좋았다고 이 세상에서는 가장 물, 자기 당신이 에, 사방에 조선 팔도를 도, 돌아다니면서 마신 물 중에 가장 맛이 있다고 그랬어요 물 맛이 있다고 거기에서 나온 물을 가지고 차를 끓여서 여기서 잡수고 여기서 구우라 Tazan loved both the soil and water of his hometown. This is why he longed deeply for his hometown during his 18 years in exile. Here near Lake Paldang sits Nungneri, the hometown that Tazan loved to return to, if only in his dreams.